when I say the word stress, or if someone says adrenal fatigue and how it relates to stress, we typically only think about the emotional stress. There are three sources, emotional, physical, and chemical. So emotional stress is the stuff we think about, but physical stress is everything we do to our body. What positions do you sleep in? Do you exercise? Do you exercise enough? Do you exercise too much? Everything we do to our body physically gets put into the physical stress, and then everything we put inside of our body gets added to our chemical stress. So are we taking vitamins? That could be maybe a good stress. Or are we eating fast food? That would be a negative stress. Literally, every single thing that comes up in our life during any course of any day can get put into one of those three categories of emotional, physical, or chemical, and is either helping us over time or hurting us over time. Problem there is people overexercise when they're burned out. And they get a little bit of a stimulant boost from that, but they're running themselves down even more. Running this company, doing that, you know, sleeps four hours a night. It's the person who is running life, a type A personality, running life from every direction. Often the underlying root cause is a trauma of some kind. Um, sometimes that's recognized like a big trauma, like you can imagine an attack, assault, whatever you might think of as traumatic, but sometimes it can be minor traumas. So whatever it is, I, when I think of adrenal fatigue, I think of someone who has really had stress impact their body in a negative way. Maybe they have a stressful job that they have really hated for years, a decade, something like that. Maybe they've been taking care of um, a family member who has had a chronic illness. Um, or it could be an acute stressful situation, something like an accident happening. 